Griffin, Colin Griffin, Colin, do you really think you're worth 36 million? Do you really think that? Welcome to a very special Swarf and Chips, and we're actually at Wellsbourne Stadium for Engineering Technology Group versus MTD CNC in the inaugural Spindle Cup match. Terry, you've been unmolded with ETG this week. What's been happening? They've been training hard and getting their tactics, though quite thoroughly sorted out, and I think they'll be up for a really good game once kickoff comes about. And there's been some last minute changes? Apparently so, yeah. There's uh, been some movement transfer from one camp to another camp, which was breaking news to everybody. Uh, Harry's moved over. Um, I think earlier on in the week he was one of the favourites for the ETG squad. However, I've seen them warming up a bit earlier on. He's a bit closer to uh, Harry Ramsden than Harry Kane. So it won't be as much of a loss as we thought. So there we have it. Heard it from Terry. Now over to Lindsay Vickers, who's with Carl Creamer, the MTD manager. I've just grabbed Carl Creamer from the changing rooms after talking tactics. Of course, you know Carl, the manager of the MTD CNC team. So I'm trying to get the inside gossip 15 minutes before the gents begin the match. So how are you feeling, Carl? I'm quietly confident. Um, the guys are collected and ready to play. Mm. Have you seen the team yet, the opposition? Uh, yeah, I've seen them and uh, heard a few things. Mm, I like it. Any tactics? Um, we've got some tactics, mm -hmm. um, but we're ready to play, that's for sure. Carl's keeping his cars very close to his chest and I can see it's very tense. Are you nervous? Um, not nervous. So if the guys haven't got butterflies, then you know then there's something wrong. But I know they're, they're ready to play and our preparation has been spot on. Any predictions of scores? Uh, I'm not going to give you a prediction on score, but I reckon we're going to win. Mm, I'm very excited for you but both. You know, speaking to the other team as well, it is very, very intense atmosphere. Now let's head over to the build-up for the rest of the match and good luck, Carl. Thank you. How's preparations gone? Uh, yeah, not too bad. You know, it's been a, it has been a busy week with the training. Um, we've had a couple of injuries. Uh, Steve Brown pulled his earlobe last week, and uh, you know, so he's, he's but he's fit for the match. So yeah. Prediction? Uh, I'll, I'll keep it under me hat, but it's going to be a bit of a whitewash, isn't it? Really? Do you think? Oh, no, so mate. I, I've got to go. Me players are out. All right. So. Good luck. See you later. Anticipation at its height now, Joe. Looking forward to it. Just got to say, looking at the final warm-ups there, I think ETG could well do it. Now I see you've got Frankie Dittori in your team. It's a bit short. Very nice of them to scale the goals down to suit. But I yeah. think ETG going to edge it about 5-0. Yeah, well, of course, I'm going for MTD. You mentioned our Italian import, Giovanni. I think it's up to him. If, if he has a good day, he can get the team, he can... You know, brand the shirt collar, you can single handedly pull them through. But isn't it an enigma? You can have a bad day. If he has a bad day, I do worry for the side. Yeah, I wonder if he'll do uh, a jump in dismount at the end of the game. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you can 
kick above the head. Yeah, 20 minutes each half. Roll on, roll off subs, yeah? Okay, then. You call the toss. No problem. Tails. Which side do you want to kick? Yeah? Okay, so you'll kick off then. Okay, right. Okay, good game, good game. Enjoy. And tonight's referee, Gareth Jones, the experienced Gareth Jones, gets us on the way. Good start from MTD. Great tackle by Deadman, last minute lunge. Now Here he is, the trait. Oh, well done, my mate, just as he was coached all week. King. Every time he gets the ball, kick it off. Good touch from Jones. Back to King. And again, back to Deadman, who has time. Shot. Oh, fine save. Great save, Code. You cut the corners off, you'll feel the whole goal. Oh, right in the credentials. ETG, they just seem to be panicking a little bit, the hosts. I think they're just settling in. Expectation, heavy on their shoulders. The home fans, not behind them yet. Very quiet here at Wellsbourne. I think if King keeps playing the way he is, King. he's got a P45 in the post. <laughs> King again. King! Oh, close. Very clever, very clever. Jones? Expect Make it look like he's shooting, but deliberately missing by around a yard. King again. And it's the opener. 1 0 to tonight's visitors. I've had a brief comfort break. I think I've missed the substitute. Yeah, so did I then, and I wasn't even. Oh, you did? Yes, MTD. Brown's on. Oh, to goal. It's 1 1. Oh, equaliser. Oh. Well, well. Brown. The referee, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Referee. It's called for VAR. The video assistant referee. Controversy here at Wellsbourne Stadium. And it's a goal! Goal stands. Goal stands all square. <laughs> There's obviously no anti-corruption. I must say, been a slight change. ETG, I would say, are now on top. Oh, oh. storming goal. Has that gone in? No, no goal. Oh, no goal. Rest cheating again. Is that a ghost goal? <laughs> MTD making another sub. Keeping it fresh. Oh, it's high, high again. Let's second serve. One one, fair at this point, or do you think MTD should be in front? I think so. No, I think MTD started off the better, but ETG have come back into it and go ahead as we speak. Two one. I must say this is against the run of play. Is it fair to say MTD maybe lost their wind? Yes, I think he came off, didn't he? He got substituted. Tell you what, Joe, that middle goal was in play. It'd be about six all by now, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah, yeah. Albanese has found that a few times. It may be Irish, not Italian. Ah, oh. is it's that three? It's becoming easy. It's this becoming changes at match. Creamer is finally doing some. Of it. The MTD manager is not happy. Watson is replaced. King's back on, who's probably been the best player so far. Jones is back on for another two minutes. Frankie Dutori off. And, and he hasn't done a jump in dismount. <laughs> he just walked off. That's a bit disappointing for the fans. On is stretching it out. King. Good strike, good oh, goal. Great late goal in the first half. What a great time to score. Harry the traitor, I mean. I make that 3 2, Terry. I'm losing count. 3 2. I believe 3 2, yes. Three. And of course, we do have penalties this evening, should it go to penalties. Oh, another great save. Half time, there we have it. Thank God for that. So at half time at the Wellsbourne Stadium, it's the Engineering Technology Group 3, MTD CNC 2. Gareth Jones, have you got a second? Yeah. How, how's it going? You refereed it well, but how do you think the game's going? Yeah, yeah, I think there's a few tired legs out there, to be quite honest. I mean, when you have a look about it, you can tell the people that play and the ones that don't. I think some people have obviously got day jobs. <laughs> Plumbers, electricians, maybe. I don't really know what they're pretending to be, but they ain't quite footballers. We've seen no real grit yet, though. We need to see some log like, shins took out or something, so we'll see yeah. what the second half is. Just quickly, I'm not sure about the anti-corruption laws, but do you have any uh, predictions? 
Um, well, I was past the Queen's Head in about the tenth minute, so I will see what happens. Thank you. Who's going to pass to him and you to him and then he's going to back heel it to him and then he was going to score? I ain't seen any of it. I ain't seen any set pieces that we put together over the past two hours. Martin Doyle Sorry, doesn't seem happy. We'll Three two up. He still well, doesn't seem know, happy, Terry. Is Come he on. ever happy? Keep your heads up. Keep your heads up. You've got him on the right. Not, not that I can think of, no, now you come to mention it. Keep the pressure on. I would on. not want to be in a Martin Doyle sales meeting. You can see him this on football match. Yeah. You know, in his eye race. Fat old beat to Come on. <laughs> just remember that. Keep that in your head, all right? Come on. Just keep shouting at us. Yeah, I know they keep shouting. Don't cry. Don't keep crying about it. Every time in the back of the legs and the knees. One of them said to do my mum. Come on. Yeah, it's... uh. Speaking to jumpers, Colin the Cat, you had a great afternoon. You've got Connor Doyle on for ETG now. Not too sure where he's playing. Not sure he knows either. Wide. There you go, go and tell the fishy on the little dishy. Yeah. King, King oh, and James. King again. It, it's got to be a goal, must be a goal. Yes, he really goal. doesn't know which side his bread's buttered. Three that, each. Does he? Whatever Creamer said at half time, it's really worked. It's worked. MTD Three back on top. Early in the second half. Cole, speaking of the devil, Carl Creamer. What, what, what was said at half time? Uh, just a, 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 you know, stick to the game plan, a little bit of tactical chat. Um, but as I said, I think our fitness is going to show through second half. And the amphetamine? And some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably cut that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Even more than usual. <laughs> Just for the commentators. Mm. Could do with it watching this. Oh, better turn for oh referee. Je James has Jones is having done a bit. Waves play on. Oh, beautiful oh, ball save. by second wind. Good run. And the traitor. It's Doyle. Oh, no. Cone pulls it out again. Doyle. Fine chance again by Deadman, who I must say has been a rock in the MTD defence. Defending much, much better in the early part of the second half. King again. Today's signing. Oh, Beckett with Good time. Good charge for ETG. Oh. oh, hard lines. Goalkeeper pulls a blinder again. Benny the, Benny the Hat, playing very well in MTD. ETG with possession, but it's wide. Subtle. <laughs> this is a mad fan <laughs> attacking MTD. Another keen MTD. You always rely on Rainey. Yeah, another, another keen uh, Paul Jones fan asking for signatures. Quite obviously not the time. King, a great turn again. What a signing from MTD. <laughs> Carl, tonight it does go to penalties. Should it end in a draw? Have you been practising penalties? Or are you yeah. going to let nature run its course? No, we've been practising. Oh, yellow it. card. Yellow card for the keeper. Yellow card for the keeper. James having none of it. And I must say, Terry. And a dangerous position for Terry, is that the biggest yellow card you've ever seen? It's the biggest bloke I've ever seen get one. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's one. Second wind on the ball. No, Connor takes it. Subtle skills. Connor Doyle, take a bow. Albanese is uh, warming up. Gio, do you think you'll be getting back on? Does the manager give you the heads up? Yeah, I think the last five minutes, Joe, I reckon I'll try and make another appearance. Just been stretching out the leg. Oh! oh. oh. I think that's MTD ahead. Just took the lead now, 4-3. So uh, we're trying to hold on to this now for the last few minutes. Prediction? Hopefully 5-3. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Deadman. Oh, the tackles are starting Deadman to fly. Right. Deadly Deadman takes a great ball. King with time, when he make it four? Four games, yeah, four you goals. Had better come off. Great oh, play, goal. great goal by ETG. Actually, you look like proper football. <laughs> oh. ETG putting the pressure on here, the pressure starting on. to play together. Bring out the big guns. Brown makes Breaking all the difference. Down. Oh, and James has had enough. We have penalties. <laughs> Carl Kramer, Martin Doyle, they meet in the centre circle. I'm not sure they know what's going on. I believe it's penalties, Terry. I believe it could well be. 
there's a little bit of intermanagerial banter going on. Yeah, the, there's been a lot of social media, a lot of talk on social media, and I haven't been getting on, but quite obviously tonight's the night to put social media aside and get on with it. So the first penalty. Okay, Benny the Cat up. And Griffiths. Yeah. Oh, Great goal. Brown. Calm and collected. One inch. He looks confident. Fine oh. save! Colin the Cat Griffiths with a fine save. Deadman scores! It's Ollie. To Ollie Riley. Ollie. Doyle shouting, Riley. Fine yes. finish. Cool, cool as you cool like. Look at that. And I must Walks say, away, quick look to the camera. One of very few players that actually represent, look like a footballer. The silent oh. assassin. He is carrying the hamstring. Overcoming his injury. Frankie Di Torre. He hoofs it. He scores! Oh, in the left corner. John Mannion. Who must, must be said, and, you know, coming towards the twilight of his illustrious career. He's done well to get to the end of the match. Go oh, oh, fine finish. If that's not an advertisement for our NHS, I don't know what is. <laughs> Thomas, maybe to win the 20 day. Oh, and he misses. Hits the woodwork. Oh, yes. oh vilified. Oh. And he's got to look at the bus timetable for getting home. Sadat the Turk, go on. Sadat. Sadat. Oh, oh so that beats the cat. ETG take the lead. Oh, this is controversial. Doyle's on the pitch. Doyle's oh. on the pitch. <laughs> Harry King been given last minute instructions from the opposition manager. <laughs> King, who has, King has been the best player of the match. Jones overplaying his part again. Oh! And he misses! And he blows it! <laughs> Engineering Technology Group, take it! And I must admit, I do smell a rat there. King, who has been on fire all day, hits it straight at the keeper. What did Doyle say to him? I think it'll be something like, if you get this, you're sacked. That was our player. <laughs> Weirdly, the one Gareth, that missed. the referee, what do you think? Well, yeah, there's some tough decisions to make in that game, but I think at the end, I actually thought they was having a joke the way they missed them two last penalties. I mean, they obviously just hadn't got the bottle. They saved the words for the last two out of the five, and I think it showed. Maybe a tad of controversy at the end there? Yeah, there was a bit of controversy, but, um, I, you know... I what, what, is, what is a P45? Uh, my exit. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Jones, MTD captain, what went wrong? Uh, it's gutted, absolutely Steve. gutted. I thought we were in command of the game. Uh, two goals up with literally uh, a matter of uh, seconds almost to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Two late goals caught us on the back foot. Have you been practicing course, penalties? Well, that's the, yeah, we have, but the problem is when you, you go in uh, to penalties having just lost two goals, you know, you feel like <clears throat> momentum's a bit down and morale's a bit down, and, and I think that affected us at the end of the day. I mean, I, I, I do think they're a good team. You know, hats off to them. Uh, they deserve to win if they, uh, you know, if they win like they did, scored, scored, you know, played well on penalties. So, we'll just, just goes to show you, you, you can't leave it to penalties. <clears throat> well, you, you can't, but you know, we tried to win in, 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 in you know, in the in the 30 minutes, which yes, yeah, what we came out to do. But uh, on this occasion, it you know just didn't happen, which is a shame. We'll come back stronger, mm -hmm. and, you know. So thank you. Thanks, Paul. And I believe Terry's over with Steve Brown. And following the longest interview, <laughs> longer than the match, that, wasn't it? He was talking more. On, Can it? we summarise it a bit more briefly, Steve? You took your penalty well yourself and Cone did well. A typical ETG ethos, really. The, the competition come on, think the win, and there we are, committed, sit all the way through to the end. <laughs> and uh, that, that was oh, female. New balls. New, yeah, fresh balls. Well played, Steve. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Carl Creamer, manager of MTD. What went wrong? Uh, I don't think anything particularly went wrong. I think we were by far the better team in the, in the second half. And, you know, it comes to penalties, it's, it's a flip of a coin, isn't it? Do you take the blame? No. <laughs> no? Have you been practising penalties? Yes. So there's going to be a lot of people that are saying, if you've done your job, are you going to be in charge of uh, MTD next game? 
Um, I think so, yeah. You know, I'll make, make some changes in the, with the penalty takers, but like I say, um, I think we were the better of the team and just unlucky when it comes to penalties. Those two last-minute goals, the, the, you know, that, that's gone against you. Lucky goals. OK, Martin Doyle, end of the match there. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. So, burning question is, so is mum and dad going to yours? Or... Christmas. At Christmas, well, are they coming to my house? You, so right, are so we having one each? Or we can go and see them. Yeah, we'll go yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, we'll probably do that yeah. and then stop over Boxing Day. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Right, cheers, mate. So we're here at the presentation and our referee, Gareth Jones, is going to present the Spindle Cup. Over to you, Gareth. Yep, so the 2018 winners of the Spindle Cup are Martin Doyle and the Engineering Technology Group. Thank <laughs> you.